Hello everyone and welcome to my longest video on this channel so far. Okay, so let's jump straight into the review so I can get this done with and eat dinner. Okay, so we're starting with the Black Panther. Um, in the last video I did, I said that I would be reviewing the um, most asked for uh, uh, group of minifigures, and I was impatient, so I just decided, why don't I just do all of them? And so, here we are, I have the Black Panther crew that I have so far, and, yeah, I got these four in two sets, Shuri and my normal Black Panther right here, got them in the Avengers Infinity War set, then this Black Panther in Oki, I got in one of the Black Panther sets for 2018. And these are the same years. Why am I even talking? Okay, so let's just jump straight into the review. Sucky, great, sucky. Wait, no, great. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> I'm just gonna restart that. Sucky, great, great, great. This, this minifigure right here sucks. I hate it. This one, I mean, if Lego added visors onto the mask, it be better but it's still pretty great shiri an exclusive head pe hair piece and torso i mean pretty much all of these have exclusive torsos but except for black panther that black panther he 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 had this he's the same minifigure as the 2018 black panther set and yeah and so basically if this would focus You'd be able to see all these, and there we go, it's focused. There we go, you see all of them. Um, yeah, just gonna remove all those. We can continue on to our next one. And so that's going to be Captain America and the... the I'm sorry, Captain America and the Falcon. So, yeah. The, my favorite out of these two has to be Captain America. The detail they Lego put into his beard, great. There's nothing wrong with that Captain America. But, lacking leg printing. Again, Lego has been getting lazy with their leg printings. And Falcon, he is also lacking leg printings. For a guy who has a full suit, he just doesn't need the regular black pants. What he needs is leg printing. The hairpiece suits him. I don't care if it's a reprint. And the um, face... I'm pretty sure it's new, but, yeah. Wings, I love the brick belt f feature. Uh, you can model them almost any way you want. Yeah, and basically that's it for these two. I'm going to be removing them, and let's move on to the Outrider. This one is going to be the longest, because I have so many complaints, and so many compliments, I guess. <laughs> let's just get on with it. The Outrider itself, perfect minifigure. Lego could do nothing to make it better. Okay, so let's just start off on the head, the most detailed spot. Well, torso is more detailed, but yeah, I like the head better. And wow, that was me dropping a minifigure on the set. That was terrible. Okay, so yeah, the back, if we turn it around, one of those braces that we got that we get in the Thanos Ultimate Battle and every other Outrider from let me get it in the Thanos Ultimate Battle with Iron Man. I love the six arm thing. That that's pretty nice. Um yeah. Thing I don't like about it though is the lack of leg printing. And I do believe that there is um a great back Tor back of the torso for this minifigure, so I have to remove that, if I remove that brace, you get to see a better shot of it, and if I bend it like that, you can see it better, yeah, I mean, it's pretty great, if I just put that back on, oh, put that head back on, yeah, you get a pretty decent, um, view of the back of the head, um, Pretty much, well, it's pretty great. I mean, it same problem Nebula and Nick Fury. 
There's just no side printing on the head. Just why? Why would you do this to us, Lego? So, yeah, I mean, other than that, this minifigure is great. And now time to review the front torso. And, yeah, I'm... It's good, but it's not that great. It's, I mean, if all these Outriders had individual, um, uh, torsos, like they did at the, um, monsters from the, uh, oh my god, 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 I can't remember, um, Lego Ninjago, um, time thing they did with all those snake people. I mean, if they could do that with these Outriders, that would be great. And, yeah, that is all for the Outrider. I mean, other than the legs, they're plain black legs. Still, he could have used some of the um, printed legs, but, yeah. Let's move that out of here. So, back when I was talking about the Falcon, when I said print for the hair... I meant mold, but uh, yeah, it really doesn't matter at this point. I, I just fixed myself. So, yeah, let's move on to... Uh, I'm just going to show this minifigure, and you can guess what it is. Well, I might want to move it backwards a little. There we go. Yeah, you can easily tell that it's Loki. So, it's a custom because of the torso and pants. I didn't like the Loki's torso and um, legs from the right regular Avengers and the other sets that Lego did for the comics. But yeah, they just didn't look great. But this one looks better. I mean, they couldn't have done anything to fix them. And so I'm just going to remove that. And Corvius Glaive. You can look up pictures of him. I'm not going to explain this. I just want this video to get done. Perfect face. Could have done something other than the hood. Proximir Midnight, which is right here. Nothing wrong. Could have used leg printing. And, yeah. Time to move on to the last two. The Wasp. And Ant-Man. Two exclusives for this video. Yeah, Wasp, Mask, Sucks, Needs Leg Printing, Ant-Man, Great, Close the lit, close the Mask, and he's great. I mean, look at that. She has a triangular, um, I don't know, snout. That's what I'm going to call it. But yeah, it's it doesn't really look great. But yeah, still pretty decent. And that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, yada, yada, yada. Let's get this over with.